Dropping your motorcycle is something that many riders will have happen to them at one time or another. Whether it's forgetting to put the side stand down, grabbing the front brake while the handlebars are turned, or just knocking the bike over in the garage, it happens. But sometimes these small mistakes on a motorcycle make a huge impact on our confidence as riders. Especially with newer riders, they're embarrassed by the drops, but you'll be relieved to know, if you're a new rider especially, that these drops are often a part of the new rider process. In fact, even experienced riders who are trying to stretch their skills on a parking lot will drop a motorcycle. What many riders struggle with is the confidence that they need in order to learn to ride successfully. But how do we build confidence? If confidence is a missing ingredient, how do we develop more of it? Well, this week on MC Rider, let's talk about it. One of the biggest issues that many riders face in developing a new skill is confidence and trust in themselves and their motorcycles. It's a common problem that new riders have, and I see it a lot on forums of dedicated to new riders, people trying to develop or build their confidence. This is not just a new rider issue, but it also affects experienced riders who are trying to develop their skills on a parking lot. I've seen riders who've been riding successfully for years on the street, but when you put them on a closed parking lot navigating cones in a tight pattern, they lose all confidence. Confidence is a huge hurdle for many riders. Show me a rider who's struggling with confidence, and I'll show you a rider who is struggling to ride a motorcycle. But we have to be careful to differentiate between confidence and cockiness and I've seen both in riders, there's a huge difference between cockiness and confidence. One is good and helps you ride better, the other is bad and leads to an inflated evaluation of your skills. The difference between confidence and cockiness is subtle. Cockiness is having a false sense of accomplishment. A cocky person may have a level of skill development, but they lack one key ingredient that helps them develop and continue to develop that skill. We'll talk about what that one key ingredient is in a minute. I've seen cocky riders struggle in a new rider class, so it's not just the belief that you can do something that allows you to learn a new skill. Self-confidence alone results in cockiness. We want to develop confidence. Confidence, on the other hand, is a realistic approach to one's strengths, and it's also a recognition of their weakness and room for growth. Cockiness repels other people and hinders one's ability to learn and listen. Confidence inspires and draws people in and allows the holder to see the potential for growth while accepting the fact that others' growth and success is not a direct threat to them. So what's the key ingredient that helps a writer move from cockiness to confidence? What's that one missing ingredient? Humility. I don't want to go too deep into the psychology of all of this, but humility is an often misunderstood word. Humility is the ingredient that allows us to listen, to learn, and to realize that there's room for growth. A humble person doesn't think less of themselves, they just see themselves in a realistic manner. The cocky writer says they already have all the skills they need, but the humble person with confidence realizes they can do this, but there's always room to grow and get better. Writing with a degree of humility will allow you to expand and grow. Believe in yourself, but do so with the understanding that there's always room to grow and get better. So now that we've defined what confidence is and separated it from the false measure of success, cockiness, how do we develop confidence on a motorcycle? Well, you start with technique. Learning the proper technique of riding a motorcycle in a training class is the foundation to years of safe riding. When someone's learning a new skill, let's take U-turns for example, using the proper technique is more important than how tight the U-turn is. Someone learning the U-turn technique, I'd rather that rider do a 30 foot wide U-turn while keeping the clutch in the friction zone, turning their head and eyes, using a little rear brake and counterweighting, than a rider who's able to make a 20 foot U-turn but use all the wrong techniques. If the techniques are correct, the foundation is in place to develop the skill and to do so at a lower risk 
than performing the skill with the wrong technique. So technique is important because it lowers the risk, it leads to the development of the skill, it provides a foundation for success, and nothing builds confidence like success. So if you want to build your confidence, develop your technique. Don't worry about doing 20-foot U-turns. Worry about performing any U-turn with the correct technique and then let the proper technique develop the skill. As your skills increase, your confidence grows and your risk on a motorcycle decreases. Because technique is such a huge thing, having sound technique and proper advice is huge. You know, there are a lot of Facebook groups and writer forums that provide horrible writing advice. I know I'm a member of a few of them. One of the greatest strengths of the internet is our access to information. Doesn't matter what you want to learn, there's a YouTube video that will teach you how to do it. One of the greatest weaknesses of the internet is the amount of bad information that's also readily accessible. If you want to learn to do something wrong, there's a video on YouTube that will teach you how to do it. Thankfully, that's beginning to change on YouTube as there are a few of us writer coaches now who are teaching proper writing technique on YouTube. In fact, I think this is one of the highest times for proper writing technique on YouTube. There are a lot of good instructors out there. Your job is to find instructional videos that back up what was being taught in an in-person class. And to be honest, that's where you should start your learning process, not here, not on YouTube, but in a training class. Start your writing development in a new writer class, but realize that that's only the beginning of learning. Add to that other more advanced training classes and sound advice along the way, and you're on the path to develop your skills and confidence as a writer. I think that's one of the roles that MC Writer plays in the writer community. MC Writer is not and was never intended to be a replacement for in-person training. In-person training allows you to get immediate feedback. It emphasizes proper technique. There's no substitute for in-person training, but I also realize that many writers, especially during the pandemic, have not had easy access to in-person training. MC Writer is a tool to offer the writer the ability to develop their skills that they learn in a training class and to provide sound technique that helps writers develop confidence and skills. As members, you get access to the field guide and in the field guide, you'll have exercises that focus on technique, not on something that can be measured with the tape measure. Performing tight U-turns will happen, but only after the proper technique is applied. In addition to the field guide, the forums offer good advice for writers of all skill levels, there are 15 writing instructors who participate actively on the forums, and in addition to that, there are writers who have thousands of miles under their belt and are open to sharing advice on how to get better on two wheels. We have a really good membership at MC Writer and are active on the forums, and you can trust the information that you get there. Yeah, you know, I'm always looking for ways to make MC Writer better and provide more value to its viewers and members. And I recently launched a new tool that I believe will do just that. Have you ever wanted to find a responsible writer in your area to practice with and develop your skills with? Maybe someone in your area to go for a ride with, meet for dinner, and just talk. You know, I remember when I got into motorcycling, uh, back into motorcycling, I had a Ninja 650R. I was looking for other sport bike type riders to meet with and I found the sport bike rider group and they were having a meeting near my house so I went over there to meet with these guys. They said this was a Friday night, they said they were going out on a Saturday ride and the guy said it's kind of spirited. So I questioned that and I said well, what do you mean by spirited and he said well we get out on some country roads and we may hit you know 120, 130 in some of the straightaways. So I realized right away this wasn't the group for me and I went on my way. So there are a lot of groups like this out there. It's harder sometimes to find responsible writing groups and I'm hoping what the member map on MC Rider will provide that for its members. So all direct members of MC Rider now have access to this live practice map. You can enter your location on the map and find other members of MC Rider to get together for a practice session, take a training class, or just go for a ride. 
I just released this on the forums yesterday. We already have several members who are adding themselves on the map. Over the next few weeks, as this tool grows, we'll have a nice roster of riders who are looking to meet up with other riders, practice, and develop their skills together. So current members can find more information on the member map at the member homepage of MC Rider and in the menu of mcrider.com. There's also a post on the forums discussing the member map and how to take advantage of it. So I can't wait to see the riders finding other riders to practice with and develop their skills and to hear the stories on the forums of the MC Rider community working together to make more skilled and safer riders. So if you want to develop your confidence on a motorcycle, work on your technique. Find the proper riding technique for the riding hurdle you're looking to overcome. A good place to start that search is on the forums and on the field guide of MC Rider. Once you begin to apply the proper technique, the skill will develop and eventually the confidence will follow suit. Till next week, guys, it's Kevin with MC Rider, and I'll see you on the road.